up. That's a gap. Please, sir. It's like I got a little police escort. My boy's dipping. On the curves, on the shoulders and everything. Good on, man. All right, ladies and gents, we are at Cars and Coffee and we're leaving. I just did a little video of the whole event and look we are. We're in a beautiful, beautiful Greenpoint, Brooklyn. Thank you. I'm following the most gorgeous Benz 280 SL. Look at that. Is it taking a right? I don't know if you can. My brother. Hey. Okay. Oops, I went the wrong way. And that happens. That happens sometimes, but yeah, Greenpoint. Quite swell. I don't particularly want to go. Uh, good. Now we are on our way to Red Hook to this place called Union Garage. Union Garage, where we're going to look at some motorcycle gear and uh, possibly buy some, but also possibly not. We might just have a look see. I haven't been to Union Garage in a long, long time and, and do believe. It is time to visit. So we'll see. We'll see how that works out. Uh, I do want to beat this truck, but we don't have to. We don't have to. And Cars and Coffee was awesome. I mean, I love that event. It's so inspirational. There's so many people with dream cars and just like, you know, people loving their automobiles. Come on, give me that green so I can pull it. Yes, thank you, thank you. Um, so yeah, that was super cool. It's super, super fun to see. And then I also happened to run into Gotham Ducati, uh, Shing Ding as well. Uh, they're doing a, like some sort of a gentleman ride. Is this person fucking going? I love how people who drive Hemis or those Hellcats always drive like they're too cool for school. Can you blame them though? No, can't. Anyway, yeah, that was super cool. That was super fun. Big fan. Big fan of these gatherings. And uh, I made a little video of it. And hopefully I'll share it with you one of these days. And I was going to go local um, right now to Union Garage. But I'm going to go on a highway. I'm worried that local, I'm just, uh, I don't have the patience right now. And I'm worried I'm just going to get a, a ton of... I'm gonna be like lane splitting and bike laning and all the other stupid shit. So we'll just, we'll just relax. Union Garage is a good place to visit. Plus it's like, uh, wait, am I going too fast? I don't think so. I don't think I'm going too fast. Oh boy. Got it. I think we're all right. Um, yeah, Union Garage is a great, great place. I, like even this jacket, most of the shit that I bought, I bought there. The boots that I'm wearing, the pants that I'm wearing. What is this? It's fucking jerk off. <laughs> all right, 
let's make it. Now we can actually make it. There we go. We get on a highway. Who would have thunk it? And yeah, another reason I wanted to go for this quick little ride is because the weather is changing. Ooh, watch out. That cop is dipping. Kind of want to be behind that cop to see where, where he dips to. Um, see if we can just follow the cop. No, because eventually he won't be able to dip anymore and then he'll pull me over for chasing him. You know what I mean? This is a dangerous game. Because obviously I can out-split a fucking car. You know? But, we'll stay here. We'll just watch him from a side. We'll watch him from a distance. That car is really in a hurry. God damn. Gotta chase him down. It's like I got a little police escort. My boy's dipping. Curves on the shoulders and everything. You think he's gonna go on? Maybe. He did get stuck though. Maybe he's taking this exit. Because if he's not, then he's an amateur. I believe he is. Wait. I think he's uh, coming up. kind of is dipping but not really because look there's moves to be made if he really was uh into it you know what i mean i think he's gonna do the shoulder now why oh why is there traffic i really don't want to What the fuck is that guy doing? Look at that. He's literally splitting the traffic. I've never seen that before in my life. Look at that. This is lane splitting in the car. That's incredible. That's incredible. I feel like I have to like chase him and follow him to see. Bizarre. Bizarre. He figured out the shoulder. That cop, it took him fucking 10 lane splits in the car to figure out the shoulder. That is quite funny. Yeah, I don't do shoulders. I'm surprised there's so much lane splitting. I don't understand why. There's actually a motorcyclist up ahead. I wonder if 
if uh, the cop had to get off on this exit or if the cop kept going. Oh, brother. This guy literally blocking me from passing. What a jerk off. What a jerk off. and this guy will let me uh can i get around you champ what are you doing all right we'll do like a nice casual split it's a cute pace cute pace Usually when somebody is splitting quicker than me, I just pull off to the side and let him go, but I'd imagine it's not a hardly thing to do. this much splitting what is the meaning of this I almost feel like I should exit and go local for the last mile but I don't know it's very much disappointing the amount of traffic. My boy went on his shoulder. He is savage. I don't do shoulders because there's glass and then shit that. Less than a mile to our little exit. Totally fine. What are you doing, brother? This fucking guy. He went on the shoulder. He did everything. And still couldn't produce. Alright. Gonna go to the right. Like, uh, like with the babies. But I gotta get off right here, so I'll stay behind them. Stay behind them. This is it. This is my exit. many time demonstration of power but there's no need there's no need I'm 
here we are. We're all half a mile away from the old Union Garage. And there's a Rivian dealer here. I think somewhere in Red Hook. And there's so much food. Maybe I'll grab some food. Although I had takeout, I had like takeout food too, too many times this weekend. Uh, one, two, three, three times. And Ikea is that way as well. That's always fun and cute. Come on, give me that green. What's the problem? Here we are. Green light. Come on. Give me that green, green sugar. Red Hook. This is a area where they also do Formula One races or Formula E. Sorry, not one. Formula E. All right, let's make this light. I don't think there's any speed cameras here or anything, so we're gonna be all right. The next light, I don't think we'll make. Oh, please, please, nah. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't happening. Oh my goodness. That car has got balls. Alma. I used to date a girl named Alma. I went to that restaurant once, sat at the top, had a lovely time. Had a lovely time for my friend's uh, um, uh, engagement party or something like that. I forgot the official term for the event. But engagement party works. So let's go. I'm just gonna go and inspect Union Garage, see what they got, see if there's any pants or gloves that fancy me, maybe shoes, anything. I like motorcycle gear, and I want it. I want as much as possible. But mainly, I just need pants. I'm not gonna honk at this person because they're driving a fucking van that's barely holding on. There's no speed there. Forever working on these streets here. Dude. That's pretty badass. Come on, sir. I know it's a woman driving, but I'm gonna call him sir. Student driver. If you're a student driver, you should not be driving up your house. Those people definitely live in there. They're from Washington. <laughs> yeah, look, they got hangers and shit. Come on, they live there. Anyway. Let's check out Union Garage. See what they got for me. Hopefully I can just park right up front and it ain't the big enchilada. I'm sure it's fine. That's a cute G-Class. Two GQ, two QG classes uh, back to back. Yeah, my chain needs some adjusting. It sounds a little rough, but it's all right. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.